let's solve some problems here in trigonometry um, using the different trigonometric identities. So we're given here a second x cotangent x and sine x. So we just have to simplify this one. We can write um, second x by using the um, reciprocal identity. We can write second x as 1 over cosine 1 over cosine x and cotangent um, x we can write this as cosine x over sine x sine 2 x here is a double angle so for a double angle identities sine 2 x is just equal to 2 sine x cosine x then we simplify this we multiply cosine x times 2 sine x cosine x over cosine x sine x and here we can cancel cosine x and cosine x and then sine x and sine x so we are left with 2 cosine x so this is the answer for this one now let's solve another problem here let's simplify this one we're given 1 over 1 minus cosine y plus 1 over 1 plus cosine y all we have to do here is get um, the common denominator so we can just multiply 1 minus cosine y times 1 plus cosine y okay then we divide this one by 1 minus cosine y we have 1 plus cosine y times 1 our numerator and then we copy the operator sign plus then we do the same thing with the other one so this is 1 minus cosine y times 1 plus cosine y divided by 1 plus cosine y so that is 1 minus cosine y times 1 then we simplify our numerator that would be 1 plus 1 is 2 cosine y minus cosine y is 0 so that is 0 1 minus cosine y times 1 plus cosine y so our final answer is 2 over 1 minus cosine y times 1 plus cosine y now let's um solve more problems here um, we're given some trigonomet uh, trigonometric problems and we need to prove whether each of the equations is an identity so how do we verify whether the trigonometric identity um, or whether the trigonometric equation is an identity so all we have to do is we change everything into terms of sine and cosine then we use the identities when we can and then we start simplifying on the left side of the equation but once we get stuck from uh, in, uh, by doing that we simplify the right hand side instead as long as the two sides end up with the same final expression then the identity is true when the expression or the equation on the left and on the right are equal so let's start with this one okay we need to um, write tangent in uh, cosine and sine so can just copy sine beta cosine beta tangent beta can be written as sine beta over cosine beta equals 1 minus sine 
squared beta. We need to prove that this equation on the left is equal to this equation on the right, right, which is 1 minus sine squared beta. So this would be sine beta times cosine beta. And then this one, we flip this. This would be times cosine beta over sine beta equals 1 minus sine squared beta. Then sine beta here cancels out. So we have cosine, cosine beta times cosine beta equals 1 minus sine squared beta. Then we can simplify this further. Cosine beta times cosine beta is just cosine squared beta equals 1 minus sine squared beta. By using the Pythagorean identities, cosine squared beta is just equal to 1 minus sine squared beta, which is, which is just equal to the equation on the right, that is 1 minus sine squared beta. Therefore, um, this equation here is an identity. Okay. And let's prove another problem here. So we're given 1 over second uh, theta minus 1 minus 1 over second theta plus 1 equals 2 cotangent squared theta. So we need to prove um, that the equation on the left is just equal to the equation on the right. So we start um, with the equation on the left. Okay, we can get uh, the common denominator for this. We multiply second theta minus 1 times second theta plus 1. Okay. Then divide this one by this. We have second theta plus 1 times 1. Then uh, we copy the operator sign minus then again we divide this one by this so we have second theta minus one times one okay, equals two cotangent squared theta and then we simplify so second theta minus second theta is just zero then one Minus negative 1 is just 1 plus 1, so that is 2 over second theta minus 1 times second theta plus 1. We can multiply the denominator by using FOIL. So we can write this as 2 over second squared theta minus second theta plus second theta minus one. So this one cancels out. So we have two over second squared theta minus one equals two cotangent squared theta. Okay, by using the Pythagorean identities, second squared theta minus 1 is just equal to tangent squared theta. So this is just equal to 2 over tangent squared theta equals 2 cotangent squared theta. Then we can write this equation as um, 2, let's be here. 2 times 1 over tangent squared theta. And then let me delete this one. So we know that 
tangent is just we know that tangent is just equal to 1 over cotangent so let's write that again that is 2 times 1 over tangent squared theta equals 2 cotangent squared theta therefore this one is just equal to 2 cotangent squared theta which is just equal to 2 cotangent squared theta therefore um, this equation here is an identity okay let's prove another prob um, trigonometric equation here we're given cosine pi over 2 minus x times cosine of negative x equals sine of 2x over 2. So we can write cosine pi over 2 minus x as uh, by using the, co uh, the cofunction identities. Cosine pi over 2 minus theta is just equal to minus x is just equal to sine x. And cosine x from the even odd identities, uh, cosine x, uh, cosine of negative x is just equal to cosine x. So this is just sine x times cosine x equals sine two x over two. Um, using the double angle identities sine 2 theta equals sine theta cosine theta therefore sine theta cosine theta is just equal to sine 2 theta over 2 therefore in this case sine x cosine x is just equal to sine 2x over 2 equals sine 2x over 2. So the equation on the left is just equal